It is Tuesday, May 10th, and you are watching Damn Near Dailies with me, Night Swarm. Let's get right into it with first looks. Nintendo came out swinging today, showing off the three starters for the next generation of Pokemon. Papillo, a sea lion water type, Litten, a fire type ember cat, and Rowlet, an owl looking grass bird. Not only showing off the starters, we gotta look at the region. Looks like we're headed to Hawaii with a lot of sand, sun, and water in this new region. Since Nintendo is very focused on Legend of Zelda, Pokemon hasn't quite committed to a booth at E3 yet. This information could be rolling out at a later date. I know us here at Mammoth Games Inc. definitely want to see them there. Be on the lookout for these three and the rest of the generation November 18th with a worldwide release of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Take it with a grain of salt because we're headed to the rumor mill. Could Sony be working on a new Spider-Man game? A NeoGAF user uncovered a tweet from NerdLink stating that Sony is working on an untitled PS4 Spider-Man project, and fans can expect a trailer at E3 2016. NerdLinks is known for uncovering details of unreleased games and movies. Recently, they brought forward the news of the God of War setting. Speculation. No other details have been dropped, but the NeoGAF user has brought up some good theories. Sony did secure a deal to have Spider-Man join the Marvel Cinematic Universe and speculates that a game could have been in the agreement as well. The most interesting part of the theory? That Sucker Punch, the guys behind Infamous, may be working on the superhero title. No real news has come out of Sucker Punch since the Infamous First Light DLC, and given their experience with free-running mechanics in open-world games, it's pretty plausible. And exciting. As always, we never trust rumors. But, you know, a gamer can dream. E3 2016 is a stage for unveiling titles like this, so until then... With the ink barely dry, let's get it hot off the press. After its May 2015 release, The Witcher 3's biggest DLC, Blood and Wine, finally gets a release date. Giving the player 30 hours of extra in-game time, that's 90 new quests, 40 new points of interest, 14,000 new lines of dialogue, 30 new weapons, 100 pieces of new armor, and more than 20 new monsters. This DLC is looking huge. Other additions include an increase to level cap, a new Gwent deck, and the ability to die armors. Being able to go up to level 100 won't be too bad. Get your cards in order because this DLC will be dropping May 31st. In other news... Monday, over at MassEffect.com's news section, they released a newsletter talking a little about their upcoming title, Mass Effect Andromeda. Quote, One of our biggest ambitions is to give the player an unprecedented level of freedom in their Mass Effect experience. They also went on to talk about ditching the Milky Way galaxy and having the player Andromeda bound. This means much more work because the area is relatively unexplored. To do this, they're using the new Frostbite engine to deliver visuals, story, and gameplay that have never been done in the series. I think we're looking at a whole new Mass Effect here, guys. Check out their EA Play press conference on June 12th for more details on everything EA. Let's get you guys your daily deal. Looking to get a new system? Want something fancy? Check out the Uncharted PS4 bundle over on Groupon. It comes with a 500GB system with a Nate Drake graphic and a blue case, a matching blue controller, and a copy of Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. New Groupon users can enter the code TECHB10 to get a 10% discount on the special edition PS4. $40 off? That's a pretty hefty discount. It'll be running until the 22nd, but jump on this deal before the limited quantities run out. Existing users can use the code TECHB5 for a 5% discount, but why wouldn't you just create a new account? Our last daily deal comes via Humble Bundle. Capcom Super Turbo HD Remix Humble Rebundle nets you a whole bunch of Capcom games. Have you been meaning to check out Strider? Pick up Resident Evil 4 for PC? Fear not, because this pack will get you a slew of titles, including Lost Planet, Bionic Commando, Devil May Cry 4, and Remember Me. You spend 15 bucks, it nets you everything, from the new Devil May Cry to discounts on must-play titles like Dragon's Dogma. You have a few days to think about it, but don't expect this deal to be around forever. Well, that's it for D&D for today. As always, links are in the section below. Don't forget to tag that like or subscribe button, and share us with your friends. I mean, how else are we going to get our name out there? I'm Night Swarm from Mammoth Games, Inc., signing off. <laughs>